This is my Color Shift Series 3 Chameleon Colors. These shift from three to different to five different uh, shifts. And you can see on this little sample card I've done. I'll move that. We have one that's cyan, blue, purple, red here. This one is gold, green, blue. This one is blue, purple, red, orange. This one is indigo, purple, red, orange, yellow. This one is mauve, red, orange, yellow. And this one is red, orange, yellow, green. I've written something else here. It says two particle sizes. That makes a difference in what it looks like when it lays down. If you know what fish scales look like, they lay on top of each other, forms like a, a seal. What that does here is it really makes it look like metal. The two different particle sizes fill in the holes for each other. The smaller ones like sand in a, in a bucket of gravel. So you get full coverage and a little glittery metallic texture. I've been pre-soaking these for about five minutes now. These are pretty thick, so I like to stir them. You can see it's, it's got like that super fluid baking soda sort of texture. So I just like to stir these around a little bit before I put my, my brush in there. Let's do this gold, green, blue first. So I've stirred all of these and I've soaked them. You can see how there's just that glittery finish on top. Those are the larger particles. They really make a difference when you want to have that metallic effect. It's like glitter and paint in one. See how thick that is? How soupy, like maple syrup how it wants to form those peaks like a meringue. That's the kind of texture we're looking for if you want to have that full coverage. Of course, you can shear it out more, add a little bit more water, mix it in, make sure that binder's in there. You can shear it if you want a different effect like that. Let's do the cyan, blue, purple, red. Again, clean your brushes off. Make sure there's no extra excess, excess water. Stir that up and get it all mixed in. That purple. It's like something out of a sunset. Share it out if you want. Blue, purple, red, orange. Yeah. You can cover it up, shear it out just like all the others. Let's do this indigo, purple, red, orange, yellow. It's a very dramatic shift. Beautiful color. Nice and thick. Get that mix in. You see that? It's all peaks there. Covers up those black lines if you get it thick enough. You can shear it out. This mauve, red, orange, yellow. Imagine this in a fire or a sunset. Or if you were trying to capture like 
the sun in someone's hair. That little fiery flake. Red, orange, yellow, gold. You really want to make somebody's hazel eyes pop. Put a line or two of that in there. did this one earlier so you can see what it looks like when it dries and where it's sheer it does give some color but it's definitely not solid and where you put it solid there's no there's no seeing through that here's something I did on white this is an uncoated sheet hopefully you can see how there's like a glittery texture to it. How that double particle size really makes a difference for a foil effect. It looks like it's actually made out of uh, gold foil. Here's something on the color. This is this one right here. See where I've used it? It really, really looks like a foil stamp. These other pieces are the smallest glitter, the 0.1 or 0.05 millimeter glitter I have. And then that foil. Here's another piece I've been working on. This is a piece of green. There's some glitter in here, but most of it is just this series of color shifting pigments on a solid green. Hopefully you can see how that changes. As you look at it, it reveals the different colors. I'll be coating this with a spray varnish when it's done. This card is not coated with a spray varnish. It's been sitting in a drawer for quite some time, pushing around with a bunch of other paper, and you can see how it hasn't affected that at all. It's got some really good staying power but you do want to protect it from liquids. So I recommend a spray varnish of some side, some, some type. And uh, that is my chameleon set three.